What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies Jesse and Mike. How's it going? What's going on? Guys, we are going to be reviewing Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 10, entitled New Best Friends. Uh, right? New Best Friends? I still can't remember the yeah. name of that. Uh, yes, guys, uh, strap in, because uh, this is going to be a bumpy, a bumpy review. We normally don't rag on our favorite shows but this time we have no choice um mm. again this is uh one of three videos for this particular episode for this show uh so if you haven't checked out the live reaction in the discussion go check those out um but the review is now so uh we do a rating system uh jesse you want to tell me what this rating system is real quick a uh, simple rating system one through five and uh it covers the story the visuals the characters, the audio, which sometimes we change over to music, and then the overall. Yep, and we rate yep. them using walkers. That's our yes. uh, the number instead That's of stars thing. or uh, you know football. Very creative. Shit. Yeah, we're creative. So this show we're using <laughs> walkers, and another show we use something yes. else. Anyway, uh, so Mikey usually kicks us off with what he rated the episode. So Mikey, yes, Mike, let's hear. Let's hear your glowing review of season fucking seven, episode ten. This is the best episode I've ever seen in my life. What? Nope. <laughs> it sucked. All right, there, Aziz Ansari. All right. <laughs> it's very disappointing that it sucked so bad. <laughs> it was such a shit episode. All right. So let's get right into it, shall we? <laughs> nope. <laughs> For my story part of our rating review system oh, here, God, I'm giving it a big old two. Two. Ah, and you're lucky. Why? You got that, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I wrote, I'm not impressed. <laughs> next to that, besides a little bit of dialogue between Daryl and Carol, I, you're lucky you got a two. For the visuals, I thought, <laughs> Jesse, don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm pissed. This visual of this up-up scene with bitch face sucked. <laughs> the green screen was lousy. That's what I wrote next to visuals. Unimpressive. I wrote also. <laughs> but I gave it a three. You know why? Because I like Shiva. <laughs> yes. I think she did pretty good this 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 episode. Oh. But overall, the visuals also oh. s sucked. <laughs> Characters. The only possible bright spot of this whole <laughs> entire episode was between the Daryl and Morgan in the beginning when they had their interactions and then oh. the Daryl and... Carol, Carol yeah. interaction, the little soup episode, I like to call that interaction. I'll give that a three because <laughs> overall the acting was still pretty good. And the music <laughs> sucked. <laughs> I'll give it a two. Oh. I wrote, it was nothing that was profound and pronounced enough for me to even remember if there was anything that really tickled my eardrums. Oh. I wrote, it's basic uh. cinematic music. So what's our overall? My overall is a two and a half, damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, Chris, back to you. Oh, oh it's a message from Aziz. I'm sorry there, Chris. <laughs> oh. Uh, so. Well, I <laughs> thought this was the best in the... Shit, man. Okay, story. I gave it a fucking three because it was shit. No, okay. I gave it a three because it was kind of cool, but still shit. That's what I wrote next to my number. This is why it was cool. The overall fucking premise that they're, they found another group and they have to, you know, and they have to, like, get them to work with them. I like that idea. I like that we're literally, this is, I mean, think about it. This isn't something that's ever really happened. We have another group, and they're like, yo, you should come with us, 
You know what I mean? Like, it really isn't something that happens often. It's usually they're fighting them automatically, right? So, that was cool. Also, the fucking downfall of that particular part of the episode. Because who they're fighting fucking sucked. Alright? They were fucking sucked. Um, and then, um, some of the story in the beginning, you know, with, the, with um, Daryl and Richard and then Carol at the end. Yeah, so it had a little bit of saving grace. But whatever, I gave it a three. Visuals. I gave it a fucking three. Shiva was cool. Fucking boring-ass setting. It was kind of boring in the fucking junkyard. The, the CGI green screen look fucking ass. Um, Shit. And I'm sorry, the fucking best walker ever to be on the show look shit. He was great in stills, but it looked it looked fucking fake as fuck to me. The like skin his, looked fake. The skin, well, the helmet looked like it was fucking styrofoam. Like it looked shit to me. Um, yeah. yeah. So I gave it a three only because it, you know, hey, they tried and Shiva looked fucking dope. Uh, next section characters and the acting slash acting. I gave it a fucking two. The dialogue fucking sucked. I said in the last review we did that the, in the premiere, it was like there wasn't cheesy dialogue. And then they go and they fucking, this time around, they completely no. went the other spectrum. Shitty fucking dumb ass. To every, everybody, everybody sucked. Everybody. Everybody's dialogue sucked. I hated it all. And Rosita and fucking Tara, that conversation was... Uh, Grow up. Oh, that was uh, shit. Uh, Rick and Gabriel at the end. He's like, uh, but Rick, <laughs> choking on his fucking cock. That was ridiculous. All right, <laughs> Carol and Dwight, still boring, dumb. Like Dwight. Uh, um, sorry. Um, Daryl and Carol. Dwight. Is <laughs> it Carol and Dwight? Daryl and Carol, fucking dumb. That shit was. Just, they never talk. They're like, eh, 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 and they t whatever. The best fucking dialogue was from fucking Jerry. Fucking Jerry. <laughs> Music, I wrote, I gave it a two, and I wrote, eh. The, the best, the best was maybe the piano at the end when that revealed the fact that it was in fact Daryl that came to see fucking Carol. That was the only music, and and there was some thumping in the early on in the episode when I was like, what is that noise? And I realized it was fucking coming from the thing. So, my overall is a fucking two point five. Yeah. Very similar. Jesse. Two point five. <laughs> sucks all right so on unlike these two i'm not going to be as harsh maybe i don't know Come let's on. see <laughs> it's a story uh start it started strong I'll, I'll give it that it started pretty freaking strong with the whole morgan and uh richard and ben and uh what was that douchebag's name not jared yeah jared <laughs> from subway yeah <laughs> yeah that whole scene there that, that, that was pretty strong and then the middle happened. But the end redeemed itself a little bit. Very little. 2.5. Uh, visuals. CGI was kind of low quality in some parts, of course. Uh, but then you had Shiva and you had the great visuals, such as when Daryl and Richard are talking. You get the great shots in the background. You get the great shots when he's um, talking with Carol on the doorstep. And it, it looks good. So that got it a three. Uh, characters and acting. God dang it. Uh, the beginning, good. Halfway. Up, up, up. Up, up. God. Uh, <laughs> I, I honestly. fucking annoying. So during the trash compactor cunt scene, it felt like I wanted to rip my ears off because of the horrible dialogue. And there's a level nine warlock in the background. Eh, okay. Level nine, I say at least only like six, dude. He didn't look like Okay, yeah, he was in a ragged robe. Fine. Yeah, He's a level exactly. six warlock. Yeah. God. He doesn't have his cap on. Right. <laughs> uh, but the Carol, Daryl, Ezekiel, and Morgan scenes, they, they kind of redeemed, redeemed a little bit. Them, yeah. Three. Three, okay. And unlike these guys, I'm basing my audio not just on the music, I'm doing it on like the recorded audio because Rick and them, when they're talking through the pipes there, uh, you can hear the reverberation in it. And you can also get the feel for like, yeah, they actually took time to set up a mic where you're not like, Oh yeah, they're talking to each other mm -hmm. or they could have skipped that whole scene together. Gave it a four. Oh. All in all, this episode's straight up middle of the ground due to its highs and lows. It only gets a flat three and I'm being generous there. Jeez. Damn. The music, the, the, Great the audio. Great job. Yeah. 
Great job, jerks. Uh, all right, so guys, uh, with all those ratings, what that gives us for this episode overall, pared down, gives us a 2.5. So we're going from a four point. What was it? Four? It was a solid four last it's week. A solid I think, four last week. To a fucking 2.5. Yep. You know what that spells? What? Shit. <laughs> Almost as bad as the uh, ocean side. Yeah, I told you were gonna say trouble. Actually, yeah, I think this was worse than fucking Oceanside. It might be. It might I don't be. know. We'll, we'll talk okay. more about okay. it in the discussion. The Oceanside would have got a one from me. Yeah. I bet you, I actually bet you, we if we rewatch that, we would rate that higher. I bet okay. you. I bet you. Um, I'll take you on that challenge. Yeah. Well, we're not going to do it, but anyway, <laughs> well, that's it, guys. So um, uh, now if you want to find out what we really thought you know, even more, <laughs> and more oh, in yeah. depth, Check out the discussion, and if you haven't seen the live reaction, go check that out. We want to thank everybody for watching this and commenting on this video. Don't forget, we still have our QFig giveaway going on. Uh, I think yep. we're, we have, uh, at the recording of this, we have two, two more. more to go for the rest of the month. So we have one, two more weeks and two more giveaways. So Batman go check that out. Doctor Strange. Um, and guys, we're not going to do a big spiel about it, but uh, if you want, go check out comicblitz.com where you can get a whole bunch of comics for free. You get your first three months for a dollar a month using our promo code third person pod. Go check them out, comicblitz.com, see what they're all about. Get some comics for uh, for real cheap uh, using that promo code. Thank you very much. That's it. We're done. We'll see you on the next videos. Thank you for watching. Peace out. God dang it. Goodbye.